Perfect. Hi, everyone. Uh, today I'm talking in my presentation about uh, how to apply digital asset trading for financial institutions within the regulatory field. And um, before, before we start here, uh, my promise at the beginning, so if you are working for an institution uh, which is licensed in the European Union and you are uh, thinking about applying digital asset trading, we will walk through this presentation uh, checklist on a very, very high level, of course, because of the limited time we have, what is needed for an institution to start digital asset trading at the end of the day. My name is Hans-Jürgen Griesbacher. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Treva, and we are a trading infrastructure provider focused on digital asset trading. So we start with quite a cheesy image here. This is like, uh, it can look like if you start digital asset trading as an institution without a proper plan. And there are quite some obstacles which have to be covered here uh, to find a way to offer this as a new business to your customers. So um, we starting here quite with, with some, some basics. So we need at least three different uh, parties involved, starting by a trading venue. This can be exchanges, this can be liquidity providers, from where prices get streamed, from where executions can be done. This can be uh, centralized exchanges, this can be decentralized exchanges, uh, and so on. The second party is the custody itself, where the assets are stored. And the third party here is actually the fiat on off-ramp or bank account. This is actually uh, where how you get from fiat into digital assets someday, somehow. And here's the, in the current field, the legacy systems on their own can actually not support, or most of them, uh, digital asset trading. And, but these venues have to communicate with each other and also communicate with the institution itself. So uh, as mentioned at the beginning, here's a checklist. So when we start, what is needed? You need at least one trading venue. Best case would be multiple trading venues. You need uh, custody where the assets are stored and you need bank accounts uh, uh, or field on off-ramp, depending if the core banking system is providing something like this. So next step is, this venues here has also to interconnect with each other. And here we are talking about an accounting and bookkeeping system, which actually takes care what was traded, what, is, uh, what has to be settled, uh, what is already settled, because it takes some time to settle, always depending on the setup. So if the trading itself is with pre-funding or with uh, uh, post-trade funding itself, and here has to also be a settlement system for liquidity and risk management purposes. So we are expanding our checklist here. We need accounting and bookkeeping functionalities. We need settlement processes so that there's always enough funds uh, on, on the uh, trading venue, or also if something is traded, you have also transferred to the storage, to the custody. So next step, so the, if an institution is actually offering digital asset trading, you have to somehow also uh, give access to, your, uh, to the institution's customers. This can also be institutions, this can be retail customers, and here we need price streamings, we need real-time executions, we need prices somewhere, we have to put on top some, some profit for the institution who is offering this, always depending on the licensing they have. So if you're talking about prop trading, if you're talking about uh, financial commissioning, and all these data which are here also transferred has to be stored and um, um, worked up in a proper manner. What is also more, uh, you need a customer management system within the trading system. So if you do trades on certain customers, this has to be stored to have a bookkeeping there as well. And this is also expanding our checklist here. So real-time prices and execution, uh, customer management, data reporting, and what would also be best case if you cannot only offer um, trading pairs which are on the trading on the, on the venues, if you can also do um, asset-to-asset -asset trade, so like swapping, which we know in DeFi, can also be done with triangle trading within the system. So next point, which is also very important, and, and this is a cheesy image here, uh, is the regulatory awareness for the financial institution itself. So there are a few things which have to be considered. Here we are talking about counterparty risk, we are talking about outsourcing risk, um, business continuity. So high regulatory awareness on this, High, 
high awareness on, on outsourcing risks. We heard it before. So also proper liquidity and risk management has to be involved. And this is also expanding our checklist here, but it's also more a role management which is actually working with in the license and financial field. So there's some trader, there's some white labeling, um, and this role management has to be covered. And it wouldn't be us to stand here if there is not one more point missing. So actually we need a trading system which is covering all of these 11 points. And this is actually where Trevor comes in the game. So we are a trading infrastructure provider which is connecting all necessary parts here. So starting from different trading venues, custodians, uh, fiat on offer and core banking systems to the internal trading system of a financial institution. So all which is covered on the checklist as well as an outgoing flow like price streaming, um, uh, uh, portfolio evaluations and, and things like this. And this is actually covered by us. Trevor is actually here a neutral player uh, and is acting as a tech provider which means our customers decide which parties they would like to involve in, um, also depending on the institution's license, if they want to act like, like a financial commissioner, if they want to have, if they, maybe they have their own uh, custodian license, or they need some external custodian with the license, or just the custodian technology, and here we are acting uh, as a neutral player. And this is actually fulfilling our 12-point checklist here, and, and on a very high level, so each of these points can be talked for hours, and, and if a financial institution is actually fulfilling this uh, points here, digital asset trading uh, in a proper manner can be started. And now I will take a few more minutes to talk about uh, our product, how we are approaching this, and how we can fulfill all these points we had on the checklist here. So here is just one overview of our current trading portal, where uh, traders itself can uh, do trades for the customers with RFQ processes or with a, a normal trading portal or via white label solution which can be used as face to the customer itself. Um, and here we're working with different assets, mainly digital assets and forex trading uh, from all venues which are connected. Uh, the, the black stones here is our backend system and it starts with all necessary trading features, so from price quotation to streaming to execution transaction for treasury system, algorithmic trading and bookkeeping. And based on top of this backend services, we built different models, which is actually um, facing, um, or different models, where our customers can decide which of these models they would like to use. So if they just say, let's start with easy spot trading, and when they see business is doing fine, we can, uh, they can easily get the next model for let's say derivative trading for example, and every point here is a model where the customers can choose. So it's easy, a start for them with, with a good pricing and when the business is doing fine, they can expand this. So our system is currently up and running. You can see here some of our current customers on the left side. So starting from prop trader uh, to financial commissioners, asset managers, uh, fintech, neo brokers, um, and also exchanges which are using our uh, systems here. In the middle you can see some of our uh, signed partners, so all of these are partners which we are allowed to mention here. And on the uh, right side we can see all trading venues which are currently connected, so actually not all, there are 17 by number right now, and this can also be expanded. And when in the near future uh, customers say or, or institutions say, okay, we want to expand to uh, staking or other products, so as we heard before, there are, will new products coming. Uh, we can connect it to the system itself and can also do the same processes on this way. And this brings me actually already to the end. So as mentioned before, we talked about the checklist on a high level manner, what is needed for financial institutions to trade digital assets. If you are considering to start digital assets, uh, I will be happy to answer your questions on this way. And uh, thank you.